but one feature is the time I had to team up with Pox Ju Quinn. My, my mom? <laughs> did you get it on with my mom? <laughs> Oh my god, did you fuck my mom, Yexa? <laughs> That'd be so cool! You had dreams oh of my. worms dramatically racing each other on cement <laughs> while visiting Earth. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, uh, that's. Oh boy. What? <laughs> well, Kimura, <Kimura's> the line. <laughs> Funny how foolishness often is one's own downfall. Mm -hmm. Just different experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, Kimura. Oh my god. <laughs> Seems I will need to add coercing a seer to reveal herself to the list of crimes you've committed. That isn't a crime. It is now, shut up. I missed that. I'm both relieved and saddened by this. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of freaky. Now knowing why she opened her eyes. It was a terrifying gaze. It's all too easy to forget that Lady Vicia is considered the most dangerous of the greys. Perhaps. But if we're talking which deadly grey would be more likely to attack one of us, I'd place my bet on Lady Yexa or Lady Nor. <laughs> Thinking about it, it's most certainly in our best interest that we not slight suppose. Lady Nor makes for a terrifying guardian. You 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 hear Velvet? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what a day. But hopefully we can finally find out what's going on with Mara. She owes a seers that much. You changed for bed and fell fast asleep. A lying Sulian. This is most problematic. The mere fact it's possible is an unsettling prospect to consider. There has to be, needs to be, a reasonable explanation for this. The most logical reason will be an arcane spell, perhaps even from the humans. Yes, I suppose that would align well enough with our discovery of their canvas. Until then, we only have hopeless speculation. May it at least grant us a lead up to the missing children's case. At this point, it's all we have. Why did you bring Zobi into my office, if I may ask? Ah, yes. I wanted company, and the fine gentleman was more than willing to offer it. Well trained, I imagine. Not by me. I... Apologies, my lady. You cannot come in here. Sure I can. Right, Lady Zuna? <laughs> <laughs> Let her in, Liz. <laughs> this office has all the people I want to talk to. Perfect. What the fuck happened in that courtroom? Pending investigation. Claire is to lead the research team in that endeavor in three microcycles time. Welcome, Welcome back, back friends. Back. I suppose if Claire is there, I won't have to worry about your girls underestimating that criminal. I just hope justice comes from Mara swiftly. Going after Na Nana Yaga like that, and trying to play it off as a misunderstanding. <laughs> How abhorrent. Don't worry, Mother. I too must admit to being less than pleased over our family being attacked. In dreams, no less. Okay, so I was right. Mm -hmm. She is the grandma. Yes. How did Nana Yaga manage to subdue Mara while sleeping? <laughs> right, Ferns? <laughs> We've been like, 
flying over almost every single one of them. <laughs> mm hmm Nanahiaga can go in and out of slumber at will, for one. So naturally, she knows a few of those crazy arcane spells that she can cast in her dreams. Mara never had a chance. Ah, uh, to be a seer of legend. Yeah, but don't tell her that. If growing up with a woman taught me one thing, is that she deserves no more information than she gives you. She is a bit vague, at best. <laughs> Yexa turned around, taking a step towards the exit. Well, if there's no further information to be salvaged, I think I'll head to bed. Alone. Pity every man I have come across here is not for touching. Pardon? <laughs> Zobi. Yexa stopped walking. What do you mean, pardon? She turned around to face Zobi directly. Zobi looked to Zuna in response to her ter terse tone. Let the boy speak, Zuna. Zobi looked back at Yexa with a bit of uncertainty in his eyes, but steeled himself all the same. It's just that there's a brothel here, and... Plenty of men to choose from therein. I happen to be among them. Just saying. Development after development today. A little factoid you two are never going to tell me about, correct? Or am I mistaken? What, does she destroy every man she sleeps with? <laughs> that seemed to be the implication <laughs> from all those dudes that were talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going to die. Have an interest in our services, Lady Yexa? You could say that. <laughs> Marco, no! Marco, no. Then might I recommend Zaris Rose? He's not only considered the best male in the brothel, but of Vorossi, the most the uh, of the most theatrical sort. A man from the West, eh? Now you're speaking my language. Um, Zobi, was it? Indeed, my lady. Zobi, you fucking simp. <laughs> you have my thanks, Zobi boy. Zuna? Hmm. I would like to rent this Zerus Rose for a few hours, see what he's all about, and I would highly appreciate it if there were no inexplicable setback that delay his immediate path to my chambers. Consider your request done. It costs six gold per hour. <laughs> I've lived in houses cheaper than that. Now I'm getting excited. You have yourself a client. Rip. <laughs> in the future, do try to keep me in the loop for things I'd want to know about. What a pity. Ladies... Uh-oh. Leave me. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you done oh, fucked so up, sad. boy. Oh. Oh. That's a new sprite. That, that means she's really going to wreck Zerus. Yeah. So Rip him. F in the chat, folks. <laughs> Uh, 
What dream did I have? Why did it feel more stressful than usual? You're gonna see Zerus limping. <laughs> With no answers to your question, you dressed for the day and went to the lobby. So you just let her walk all over you. You know I had little choice in the matter. This fucking music's making it sound like he died. <laughs> like, for real. I understand your feelings all too well, Gulliver, but you must know Suna did all she could. Could have told the bastard no. Perhaps, but the consequences of such moral convictions are by no means a path I wish to traverse with you. I didn't say- <clears throat> Forget it. Uh... I'm sorry, monsieur. Sorry, Zuna. I just can't stand the shit hand given to us. Uh... I mean... Culver is going up against Zuna for... For letting, um... Yexa have her hand at... Yeah, no, I know, I know that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm just... I'm so confused as to why is this happening. <laughs> Hold on, I got a cat. Oh, a cat. Give it time. All roads must inevitably lead to justice. They must. Lady Zuna, what are the th you three talking about? Zuna started turning to face you. Whoa! It happened without warning. Tanae was a moment away from bringing her right set of nails down upon Zuna's neck with a swift sweep of magic. Despite the improbability of it, Zuna caught the offending hand and crushed Tanae's fingers. A sickening snapping from the streams of Zala within her echoing through the holly halls. Tanae let out a shiro scream as she tried to pull away to no avail. When she saw Zuna bringing her own hand up towards Tanae with a dagger in hand, she used her free arm to block the blade. But her gambit seemed to have seen to sever her own right hand with her left middle finger, its magical properties making quick work of her own flesh. She fell to the ground, reaching for her right hand, before realizing that Zuna had amputated a portion of her left arm as well. Screaming, she used a burst of conjured gale to scramble to the exit, barely finding her footing before the wind dissipated. After that girl. Leave her. Ma'am. Tanae slipped through the door just as Liz opened it to let herself in. She's going to jump off the bridge in an attempt to mask her typical method of escape anyways. We won't catch her. Understood. Damn, I knew you could handle yourself, but I didn't think you'd be so casual about assassination attempts. Comes with the territory. Thank you for worrying, by the way. Ain't nobody said all that, asshole. <laughs> Ooh. Just be sure you don't repeat such a hostile retaliation again. I understand that you are purely defending yourself, but Tanae is under government protection. Neutralize her if need be, but no further. I think we both know you can't afford to get on General Zula's bad side even more than you already are. As benign as always, Narthine.
Hey, remember when it was super hard to find a guy around here when we first arrived? But eventually they started popping up everywhere as time went on. I was there. <laughs> well, it's been hard to run into them as of late. Better hope they're looking for you to find one. That... that is actually quite accurate. Even Valimer has been missing from my side. Didn't you the test mandate that kept you two together? <sighs> yes, initially, but I've grown fond of the little troublemaker. At least in some ways. Heh. <laughs> this casts a little number on you. I could claim the same of you. The amount of people you've charged at with hardly a plan to your steps as, as of late is, quite frankly, as impressive as it is staggering. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! You know I've been around you too long when I can't tell when you're just being playful. <laughs> then we may just find an affinity in one another yet. But to your earlier point, they've been distant ever since we were all attacked. Perhaps they've been implored to stay cautious. That makes sense. Though I do wish Lady Suna will also play it safe. Like, she was just attacked again, right? Hane is the one behind the assaults, that much is certain. And if she is, then I would not blame Lady Zuna for believing that Tanae is simply not a threat. Poor bastard really tried her hand at murder, what, three or four times? Suffice to say, Tanae is, in all likelihood, being too impulsive for even her gang of upstarts. She'll never be caught if not slain by her own. Yes, I would place my worries far more on those who have successfully hidden children all throughout Zal for this long. They're far more calculating, patient, and biding their time all too well, waiting for their perfect insurrection. Whoa, I was thinking that too. Not as pretty sounding, but yeah. Wait, you think my vernacular is... Pretty sounding? Well, duh, you boof. <coughs> oh. What's going What's going on here? <laughs> Yay. As the conversation died down, you finished your meal and went to bed for the day. I'll have to ask about the male staff once I wake up. It's odd for Lady Zuna to hide away free gold. Alright, time to see what the cycle has in store for me. You dressed and went to the dining room for breakfast. What? Keep it cool, head. We don't need the wrong ears to find out about Zerus. But Jexa needs to. Both of them stopped talking when Culliver looked past her and eyed you. But I wanna know. What happened between Lady Yexa and Zaris? Sorry, Jenna. It's a private matter. Private because of my mother's problematic ways with men, most likely. Everyone looked behind you and saw that Zula had snuck in. Oh, wait, does that mean she hurt Zerus? That's a generous way to describe it, but yes. Oh, well, rip him, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's why we were talking about Fs in the chat. <laughs> oh, like, damn. Yeah, no, I know, but like, it was like... Like, it was never made clear what exactly <laughs> went down. So I was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> did, did it actually? <laughs> Damn. But why? 
They have some very unusual and unfortunate preferences as far as the bedroom is concerned. That isn't a preference. It's cruelty. I'll make she sure she learns the difference. Count me in. She's tough, but she's about to regret ever training us. Oh, Shiangi. With your words, I imagine. Of course not. She'll be lucky to leave this castle alive. Right, right. <coughs> not ideal, but I may have just saved the princess's life. You took her out in one blow? <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck happened there. She just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Evaporated. Yes, and I don't even have a fraction of my mother's strength. As a general of salt and apprentice of Senaska, I do advise against raising your hand against Jexa the Grey. Oh, Velvet. <laughs> when will you learn? <laughs> never. Not, not, not ever. <laughs> She looked at Velvet's <laughs> unconscious body inside. And maybe keep Velvet away from her more impulsive acts of retaliation. Damn it. Damn it! Ooh, ooh, save time. Save time. Save, save, <laughs> yeah, yeah. save, 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 save. It's time to die, finally! <laughs> yeah, finally, finally a death. At long last. Crushed my head between thine thighs, Yexa. Since you got the problematic <laughs> sex stuff going on. Alright, Yexa. You want to go down this road, then so be it. You never know you might be here. Yeah, of course. Hmm. <laughs> I, eyeballs bought to studios. I don't think so. <laughs> A guard had told you where to find Yexa. The docking station. She was evidently planning on visiting Johnny's Grill to try out foreign food, but you would meet her there at the dock before she had the chance. Every step towards Yexa felt heavy, heavier than you'd ever felt before. Your Zala was not calm, as if warning you was its one and only priority. It brought gravity down upon you in all meaning of the word. Despite this, you approach the double doors leading to the docking station. Arizal is like, please don't kill us. Please, please don't. Her back was turned, still waiting on her ride. Without warning, her head perked up like a bird's, despite the fact you swore she shouldn't have been able to hear you. Huh. Now there's a look I don't like seeing. You'll live. For now. Yep. I can already tell this is about that Zerus boy. Welp, let's hear it. I'm not here to talk. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, should we save here as well, or...? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, Ferns. Abs. Abs. And two belts. Please don't go that route. No, please let us die. Scared? <laughs> Technically. Then clearly not enough. If you have a weapon, I suggest you summon it. I do, but I will not. Your loss. Or so we think. I, like this choice to <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Hold That's up. fucking I'm, I'm beautiful. That <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this choice to lose. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, click this choice to lose. Hmm. Click this choice to lose. Yeah, click this choice to lose. <laughs> you passed. <laughs> I'll try to to redeem a you are already dead. Omai wo mo shinderu. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and see what else happens. Sadly, sadly we're still alive though. 
<sighs> yeah, what the fuck? Wait, wait. I'll press this one. <laughs> Nani? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so maybe I exaggerated. <laughs> How did I end up here? Good. You're up. Whoops! <laughs> Valmar, did... Did you bring me here? I did. Little known fact. Men can carry people, too. Really? God, I didn't know. I... I... I didn't know. I'll have you know that the looks I got, however... Well, they were worth making sure you weren't left there on the ground. It's a bit cruel that Lady Yexa only informed us of your state, but expected, all things considered. She won. That's one way of putting it. Oh, Dodge. Yexa won. I knew she was powerful. But to have failed without so much as injuring her. Oh, Jenna. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> what you did was brave. A uh, might too brave, but a woman going up against Lady Yexa of all people. One of us. It means more than I could ever possibly say. Why? But also, thank you. But I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything at all. And with that, I think we will go ahead and end the stream right here. You. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much to everyone who came. It's been a lot of fun. God, what an eventful stream. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, we have one stream left. Damn. It's the sound of Plot Twist Studios gun cocking. They're gonna they're gonna do us in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, but yes. Oh, a short one? Uh like how much would you would you be able to give us an estimate? Maybe we should finish it now, if, if it's not too much, if you two are up for it. Uh, I mean... Mm. Hmm. How much is too much? Yes. Well... Less than an hour. Okay, that, mm, that's enough for a stream. Yeah, that's enough for a stream. But uh, for yeah, the so rest we, of the week... We gotta say track a lot. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of the week, tomorrow at... 6 p.m. EDT, I will be joining Kime over on her channel to continue The World Ends With You. Let's go. Yeah, you'll be joining us for that too, Moon? Uh, that's my hope. Yes. And, oh, I'll need to update this. But then on Sunday, I'm going to be starting at 6 p.m. EDT, not 10 as it says here, with Sweet Home. And I'm going to continue that until 9 p.m. EDT, when Kime, myself, and Smooth are going to return to reading the Animorph book series, which is something that we are doing to oh, raise shit. money for the Trevor Project. And that's going to start at 9 p.m. EDT. We'll be reading the first half of the third book, The Encounter. <laughs> so I, I hope to see you folks there. Let's see, who can we raid? Let's give Pharaoh a raid. Okie dokie. Have a good night or day, folks. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Why couldn't she have killed us? <laughs> I only wish to be murdered.